Hello everyone. So today in this short demo, we are going to see how to set up Azure Sync with Adobe Admin Console. So the first step is to sign in to the Admin Console. I've already done that. And for optimum experience, we recommend that you should be signed into the Azure portal in another tab of your browser. So let's switch to the Admin Console window and I'll click on the Settings tab and uh, click on this button to create a directory. I'll give it a name and select my identity type as federated ID. I click next now. Now I have to select Microsoft Azure Active Directory and click next again. Now I'll select my Azure account and then on this message box, I'll click accept. Now this window is asking to confirm the tenant ID and the protocol that I'm using. I'll accept the options that I have and I'll click on confirm. Next, we have to add domains from the Microsoft uh, Azure Active Directory. Now select the option and click on the button to log into Azure AD. Again, I'll select the Azure account with which I'm currently logged in. And I'll also provide the consent here. Now, on this page, I'll get a list of the domains available in my Azure Active Directory, and I can select what all domains do I want to sync. I'll select one of the domains here and click on Confirm. Now, I'll switch to the Sync tab and click on the button Add Sync. Select the option Sync Users from Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Now, this window gives us step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up the Azure AD. Let's switch to the Azure portal and click on the enterprise applications. Now we have to click on new application and search for an app called Adobe Identity Management. Select the app and click create. Now we have to turn on the provisioning. Go to the Provisioning tab and click on the Get Started button. Under Provisioning mode, select Automatic. Now we have to fill in the details for Tenant ID and Secret Token and we, we can get these uh, uh, items from the Admin Console. So go back to the Admin Console and copy the Tenant URL. Paste the Tenant URL here and copy the Secret Token again and paste it in the provided space. Next. I'll scroll down on this page and turn the provisioning status on. Click Save. Click on Test Connection. Okay, we got a green check. It's good, it's successful now. Now let's assign this app to a user. Switch to the Users and Groups tab and click on Add User. Now I'll select a few users here. Please note that uh, with my current plan, I cannot, sign, I cannot assign this app to user groups, but if you are on a higher plan, then you'll get the options to add groups as well. Click on select, and then click on assign. Uh, let's wait for a few seconds, and then we'll start the provisioning. Let's go back to the admin console and check this box to confirm that we have completed all the steps and click done. Now we can see that Adobe has received an update from the IDP a few minutes back. Now let's switch to the users tab and check if the users have been synced in the admin console. I'll search again for the domain here and yes, as we can see, the users have been synced in the console and I can now assign licenses to them. So that is it for today and thank you again for your time.